guys, this is AJ, and today I am going to let Alex make dinner. Um, we were actually given a five gallon bucket uh, full of green beans a couple days ago, so we sat and snapped them all, didn't we? And I have seven quarts that I did yesterday, and two pints because I had just a little bit left, and uh, four pints of beets that a friend gave me because they were done with them and they were afraid they were going to go bad. Those are the green beans. Where's Patty's beets? Are these it? And we canned beets. I think it's these. And I promised you it's guys I was, yes, I promised you guys I was going to start um, making things with our jarred meals so that you could see and so easy Alex can do it. Okay Alex, what are we making? Johnny Marzetti. Yeah. What's mommy call it? Something. Mommy calls it goulash. Same difference, right? Yeah. Hey, there's your pasta. Where's it go? In my mouth? No, not in your mouth. What? The pasta's the good in my mouth. <laughs> Me and him are friends when he's in my mouth. There was one more thing in there. One noodle. You, you had to beat it for what? Where does that go? The trash can is over under the camera, so I guess that would be easier. Okay. That was kind of cool. I just want to make sure we didn't splash any on your white shirt there. Okay. So, what have we added so far? <laughs> He's going to get the last little drop in there. So far, we have what? I didn't do it. So I can fix that with the Elbow pasta? Thing. Yep. And tomato, tomato, juice. tomato juice. And now and we are adding, adding in diced tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano. Just because I happen to have that can. I was going to dehydrate some of our, or rehydrate. I'm and sorry. it tastes good too. It tastes like garlic bread. Some of our dehydrated tomatoes, but I did have a can of that, so it was easy. So I went ahead and let him open that. And last ingredient. Hamburger. Where did we get this hamburger? Ooh, did you hear that pop? Um, Powell's? No. I mean, I mean, where did we get it today? We canned it. So we got it out of our stock today. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, let them see this a minute. This does come out kind of in one big blob, but I'll show you after we have made our Johnny Marzetti slash goulash um, that it breaks up so easily. We made tacos with it a few nights ago and it was really good. So. We're just going to drop this in the pan here. And Alex? Yo, Tom Tom. All right, there, little screw. I ball. thought we were supposed to put the beans. What do I turn it to? High? Medium. You want to take In case you guys are wondering, that's straight down. <laughs> Not for everybody's stove, sweetie. It's going to sort of break that in half. Easy. Don't want to flop it. It'll break real easy once it's warmed up a little bit. Yeah, but until then, it's going to really be a pain. I've been looking for my kettle. I've got kind of a messy kitchen. Like I said, I've got a canning station over here. We've got some dehydrating things going on on the table. Um, I did water bath the beets and the pints of green beans. So I've got my water bath canner drying on a towel here. We've got stuff going on everywhere. But I promised you guys these would be coming up. Like I said, I just um, haven't really been feeling great. So... It's uh, kind of been taxing for me, but I thought I would let Alex make the first dinner out of our jar series to show you what Alex! we do. Alex! <laughs> you're a nut. <laughs> and, and you're uh, a goofy goober. <laughs> we're not singing the goofy goober song on you. <laughs> oh, anyway. Anyway. Hey, that's enough. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go so DJ Jazzy Alex here can uh, <laughs> enlighten me with some rap tunes. Um, that way we don't have to share our uh, kitchen escapades with uh, <laughs> how we clown around a little too much in the kitchen. Did sometimes. you ever tell them about how you fell downstairs? I, they don't need to know that. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, um, sorry, no pieces meaning you don't need to know. You embarrass me. 
Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get off here, and we'll let you see a plate of this when it's all done. That's all I have to do. Um, that'll cook for 10, 15 minutes until the noodles are good and juicy, and that's it. Thank you, Alex, for starting dinner for me. We'll see you all in a minute. Or, well, two seconds plus a black screen. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back. It's time for Alex to plate up his meal. It's been maybe, what, 10, 15 minutes? Here, let me get it. Wait a minute. I know you'll get it, but let me stir it real good. To make sure we got all the juices soaked up in there. I did that before you turned on the camera. Oh, okay. Well, you go ahead then. Um, I don't really have a standard recipe for this. Um, we've done it several different ways. A can Sometimes. of this, a can of that, and a lot of this. <laughs> Sometimes I throw in some green pepper, um, sometimes some onion, just what we have on hand. Um, hold on, baby. Mm. <laughs> you scoot back and mommy will zoom it in a little bit right on you, okay? Come here. Okay. You ready? All right. Maybe if I do this and you point it No. Down a little. Nope, they can see it. Well, they could. Hold it up a little bit. There you go, right there. <laughs> Are you hungry? Is it good? Do you, do you like that? Is that, uh, you know how to make it now, so don't do that. <laughs> anyway, seriously, please don't. It's good. Please don't do that. That's why we have silverware. You don't get it on your shirt. Is uh, that something that you think you can make again by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So you learned something. And you learned something. And I learned something. No, you. Oh, yeah. Everybody out you. there? They I want you. They to learn they something. they learned that you're a little cut up. Um, <laughs> like I said, right over there you can see our seven quarts of green beans, two pints of green beans, and four pints of beets that we canned yesterday. Alex now has a spoon's fine, baby. Oh that's a little too much for mommy, but that's okay. Fine, that's right. So no, that's all right. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um Alex now has seven pints of green beans in the canner that we're getting ready to can up. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Thank you. They're coming up to um, up to temperature now. We're waiting for our canner to steam, and then we'll only have them in there once we get the pressure up past ten pounds. Do you know whether our guest wants any or not? Yes, honey. I'm sure he does. Um, once we have our pressure up past ten pounds, we will process those for 25 minutes. And then we will have done all 14 pints that we were given. Uh, the lady was actually so gracious. Those jars, the quart jars that you see there, she gave me those jars uh, to do the project. So I didn't even have to use very many of my own jars. So I'm really happy about that. It just kind of seems sometimes, um, even though we can't give each other things monetarily, um, I shared some of my jars with a good friend of mine and I still had some, but they came back to me, and they came back to me more than double fold because the new ones that were given to me came with green beans. So, and we'll um, I'll borrow this, okay? Okay, you're fine. He's even going to put everything on a little tray and serve everyone. Putting everyone who's upstairs on a little tray. Oh, you're taking yours and Bubby's, and Bubby actually has a guest over today. Not mine, Dad's. Oh, okay, I see. And then you'll come back and get ours. And anyway, we only had one pot on the stove. It's a one pot meal. Um, sometimes I'll open up some of my green beans or something with them, but uh, we were trying to do this quick because, like I said, we're trying to get the last of what we are canning through and um, dealing with everything else that we have to do during the day and um, during the days to come, getting everything ready. This weekend, we're going to try to go out of town and help one of our prepper friends again. Um, they have some um, home renovation issues that uh, need some attention. So we're gonna get together this weekend since it is a three-day weekend. We're gonna leave when the boys get out of school Friday, if all works out well, and we'll be back Monday. So we will talk at you later. I'm gonna go see if uh, Alex made this just right and get me a great big bowl. So talk at you later. Thanks, bye.